it breaks my heart to announce this on the Cataclysm channel. I have been blocked by Paul Breach. So we won, guys. Uh, he, he blocked me. I was stalking his TikTok the other day and I went on his account to try and find his Instagram to see what kind of photos he actually posts, considering he's a photographer. And uh, it took me to a user not found page and I thought, surely not. Why would he have blocked me? Yeah, it's not like I've done any videos on him. But then I remembered on his last TikTok, I commented, have you lost the plot? And I think that's when he blocked me. Having said that, he hasn't blocked me on TikTok. So that's what today's video is going to be about. We're going to see where he's up to. We're going to do a life update on Paul. This afternoon, after coming back from the job, I don't know, I have been in a comment section and <laughs> talking, being sarcastic, with numerous fake accounts, some real accounts, uh, continuously throughout this whole afternoon. And throughout it all, if you go check out the comment section, I have asked for evidence. Evidence, evidence, evidence. And when you look at their replies, it... Uh, I don't think it's ever a good start if to combat the rumours that you're a... Nuts. I think that's the... The best start, really. And uh, why is it that every time I see this man, he seems to get more aesthetically challenged? Why is he speaking like that? You know, he wonders why I commented, have you lost the plot? You're talking in a really cringe, insufferable way that kind of makes me want to end my own life. So if you could just stop that. Evidence I have asked, begged, pleaded, said love yous, asked them if they love me. Okay, I've been a little bit sarcastic, which might be my downfall, but it is my personality. I have asked so much. And when you look back at the comments, all it does is they go boom, boom, boom. Then they start talking about my family. Dude is still yapping. Uh, no one knows what you're talking about, Paul. You're not going to clear the nonce rumours with that attitude. Plus, like, we've got evidence. you got a 17-year-old girl pregnant. That's been proven, so, like... Them start talking about family. I mean, one, I think I posted on my Instagram, bless, and now their account's gone private. I wouldn't know, Paul, because you blocked me on Instagram. And it hurts, because I want to see this information. And how am I meant to get all the Paul beyond the beauty I... Hey, 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 update if you have got me blocked. Obviously don't like it back, bless them. So I'm just sitting there going, you accuse me of stuff, but you don't seem to ever provide evidence. Okay? Yes, I'm a dad. I know that. We know that. Yes, I'm a dad. If you're a dad, then maybe you should get off TikTok, stop making these videos about how you're not a and uh and just look after your child take it out to dinner spend all that hard-earned tiktok lion money on your kid's lunch i don't know just do something with your kid imagine having to wake up every day knowing your dad's pool breach okay i'm, I'm sick of this video now he's, he's kind of boring me next if i could have a few seconds of your time i would like to read a statement that i have prepared Paul Breach doing a statement, never thought I'd see the day. I, today, of my own free will and volition... Don't do that. ...voluntarily chose... No. Oh, Jesus. I walked into Asda today. I went to Asda. He thinks this is going to get him. He thinks this is going to win everyone over. N no one finds this funny. And, and, you know, even making this video now, I question whether this is the, the content that I want to be putting out on my channel. It's too late now. We're already in it. I don't know what came over me. It's not a mistake I usually make. So, some of you might not like me now. But <laughs> some of you will hopefully get me through what is a painful and traumatic moment for me and everybody that knows me. But on the plus side, I now know that it's soon going to be pantomime season because I, and it's been documented and videoed, bumped into a pantomime horse this after. I don't even know anymore what he's talking about. Something about Asda and horses. And quite frankly, Paul, I'm not here for that. And quite frankly, I don't give a fuck what you're saying and you're making for shit content for me. Okay, so say something interesting. <laughs> I 
can't even keep the music on that because of copyright reasons. But if I could, you would know that he is not lip syncing in time at all. And that's probably the most painful part of the video. If you're going to be cringe and weird and like a middle-aged man making TikToks lip sync into a video, then at least lip sync in time. Like it's really not that hard. I, I think he probably just listens to the song once. He probably gets, you know, a TikTok on his For You page of like a 16-year-old girl dancing and he thinks that audio will do. And he doesn't bother to listen to the lyrics. It could be your birthday. It could be your anniversary. They could have just put the bins out. They might have just had a baby. Good, 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 good. Oh, there we go again. Paul using his love language. What is this? Is this an advert? It, it feels like an advert. You might have just passed the driving test. You might just want to tell someone how amazing they are. You want to tell them you're sorry, but you don't know how. They might have just turned 15. You just want to pick me up and a confidence boost. Just a song and a dance. Or anything else, to be honest. Within reason. Oh, yeah. I've just had a great life achievement and someone just hands me a link to someone's cameo and it's Paul Breach. Someone please do that for me, for my birthday. I want a, a cameo addressed from Paul Breach to Cataclysm, wishing me a happy 21st birthday. What the fuck? Theo? Theo? Yeah. yeah, watch it on the screen. Watch it there. No. <laughs> There's no way. I don't understand. I just thought you should see that because I had to see it. Did you enjoy it? No. What is this man doing? If you were a woman, would that make you So... Yeah, well, thank you for your input. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that actually got me. Like, I didn't... I genuinely... You know, I'm used to seeing weird shit, but that genuinely got me. I saw it and I was like, what the fuck? I... I yeah, that's sickening. I never, ever want you to unblock me. Keep me blocked, you freak. <laughs> You know what, for a brief second, I thought he was in a house until I spied. If you look at the back, the fight, oh God, the fire on. exit sign. I mean, you know, some people do have fire exit signs if they live in a flat, but like, nah, this is not his house or a flat. Uh, he probably still lives in a tent, to be honest. Not that there's anything wrong. Moving on, I don't know. Did I ever tell you about that time I went to Paris? I fell over. <laughs> <clears throat> I can comment, apparently. You are so silly, Paul. Keep up the good content. He genuinely thinks he's fucking sick. I wish it was acceptable to get these people, like, on a video or a podcast. Like, I wish it didn't have bad repercussions, you know, like, platforming, like, fucking bad people. Because, like, it would be fascinating to get this man sat down with me so I can just say why are you the way that you are? I don't think I watch any other content creator where like I physically recoil when he does something cringe. He defo thinks he's hot here. First of all, what is that stance? Secondly, like why are your hands covering your fucking dick? Move away. Not that I want to see... No, not that I want him to uncover his dick. Like, keep that covered. No, just, just move... Just move off the camera. Just a quick one. What do you call a dog with no ears? Can I hear his mouth noises? Yeah, I think that's enough today. I've, I've, I've had enough. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed watching this lovely man's content, I'm glad because it, it was horrible to make. See you in the next video, guys. And hopefully by then, 
Paul would have unblocked me and we can message him and apologize.